Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a general reading for the sign of Virgo. That's for Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. I'm going to change this camera angle. I guess. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> this is for Virgo. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing good. I'm a Virgo moon. But I'm not Virgo in my readings. Just saying. Okay. Have my deck backwards. Virgo, you could be dealing with a Leo. Hmm. All right. Uh, what you don't see coming is possibly a lot of emotions. Right now, it looks like in your energy is a soul connection. A soul connection or you possibly looking at the past. One or the other. You definitely be nostalgic about some memories here. Um... Recent past, I feel like you've been working a lot on yourself, trying to get your money together. I feel like uh, that's what it's been about. It's just been about work, work, money. This is for Virgo, right? Virgo, did I say Leo? I said you might be dealing with a Leo or a fire sign. Um, yeah, I feel like you've just been working on yourself. You feel a little broke. You feel a little broke. Oh, maybe some bad choices in money. Maybe some bad choices in money. Uh, overspending and, and some bad decisions. Um, let's see. That's the past, though. You made some made some bad decisions with money in the past. I didn't even finish telling you what the cards were. Or, or what the rest of the reading was. I'm just like, why are you broke? <laughs> so about to dive in. Uh, that's the past. So you're not broke anymore. Um, right now, I feel like you're in a place where... You're in a place where you're just... You're happy. You're content with yourself. But there's still sneakiness trying to come in. There's still like... I feel like there's people around you who don't have your best interests for you when it comes to relationships and love. But you're going to have a brand new start here anyways, a passionate brand new start with somebody soon. So let's see what this is about. Let me clarify this for Virgo. What is the Six of Cups? I feel like at a certain point you had offered your love to someone, but there was a lot of smoke and mirrors. I feel like they tricked you. I mean, people don't really trick us. We trick ourselves. But at the same time, I feel like this person wasn't being very upfront, wasn't being very honest. Um, this person is very different than you also. Very different than you. Yeah. They weren't being honest with you. It doesn't come off that way. King of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like you realized that whatever situation here that you were with in the past, it's like you always had to make a choice of should I work more or should I go with this person and do this or that or whatever? Something weird like that. Should I work more? I don't know why I came through like that, but that's the energy that is here. Well, not just that. It, it's, it's that and then it's also knowing that this person that you're dealing with is super hard-headed. And they don't have common sense.
Yeah, they don't have a com they don't have common sense like you. And I feel like they also keep stuff. Not necessarily like keep stuff from you. Of course, that's always there. They keep stuff from you. But like they keep stuff by not telling you like if you don't ask. You know, like my kids do that. Uh, where are you at? Oh, I'm over here. Oh, what are you doing there? I came here. And it's like, you didn't tell me you were going. Oh, you didn't ask. <laughs> you know, like, what are you doing there? That that type of thing. I feel like this person keeps stuff from you, hoping that you don't find out. Hoping that you don't ask. Because then they, they don't have to be honest and they could say, oh, we didn't talk about this, you know? That's, that's extra. I don't like that. That's bogus. <laughs> I feel like that's bogus. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> there we go again with these backwards cards. What the hell? I just organized this. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you wanted to work on something. And you didn't realize you were working on something with someone who was emotionally immature, like a child, doesn't know how to communicate. Um, it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm going to say this and I'm sorry. The sex wasn't that great. I feel like you've had better. Yet you still worked on this. You might have had a lot of love for this person. And I, I, I do see that. Love and memories. I see that. Love and memories. Mm. The star. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Okay. This person, um, you're healing over this. And what you're healing is the fact that this person, um, they know how to get you wrapped up in your head. Like, they know what to say to you to kind of just trigger you. They, they know that type of thing i'm not saying that they do it do it i mean they know how to manipulate you so if they don't want you to have a good time they know what to say so that you don't have a good time the rest of the day they know how to argue with you they know how to blow your blow up your phone and vice versa they know how to ignore you like they know your trigger points um oof, i don't like that at one point you guys thought you were good for each other but now it looks like you guys are more of a divorce couple because you're annoyed And I got the chills really heavy when I said that. And that's usually my confirmation. It's usually my confirmation. Oof. It feels good, but not, not when it's this strong. You know, yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Mm. Um, for the Seven of Swords, you get the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's making you an offer. But there's secrets here. And I don't even feel like you're you're paying attention to this. I feel like you got your back turned to all of it. I feel like you got your back turned to all of it. You're like, I'm not giving my emotions here. You know, this person is like... Oh, I wanted this to work. Or here's an apology. Or come on, let's do this. Let's do that. And you're like, you know, you're like, no. I don't feel like you're saying no. You're just like, not here. I'm, I'm not even present with your conversation about making this work, you know? Yeah, that's, that's what I see for you. That's too many. They want to come out. They'll come out in threes, at least. This only came out in reverse because I put them back wrong a second ago. Okay. They still wanted to come out, though. So that's a good thing. So. I feel like you're manifesting right now 
You're in manifestor mode. You're looking to be victorious in something. I'm not sure what. It could be love, since this is a love reading. Um, if it's love, it's not just love. It's like love and passion, love and something you're excited for. I feel like the last relationship you were in, that love was stressful. That love put you in your head. That love made you broke. That love just, that wasn't love, love. I don't feel like you were in an equal partnership. And right now you're trying to manifest something equal. And you have everything that you need to do it. And I feel like you're doing it. But the difference between this manif manifestation and the last one is that this one comes in with excitement about it. Where that one was all about, oh, I have all these feelings. And this one's like, ah, eh, feelings, but I'm excited about this. Like, I'm, I'm happy about it. Let's see where it goes. Kind of like that. That's better energy than the past, but I, like I said about the past, you know. Mm. King of Wands. I feel like this person is going to continue. It's the same person popping up in your reading all over the place with all these different energies, but it's the same person. Um, I feel like this person is going to probably pop up in with communication whenever they feel like it to try to get you in your head but as much as you're in your head you're not going to let them know you're not going to give them the satisfaction of knowing that you're overthinking the shit out of this um i see you holding back from them also so that i guess is a good thing because they don't seem to be coming in any new energy you are you are trying to man manifest something new i don't think that this person is coming in new energy. I think this person is trying to come in in the energy you need to see them in, not the energy that you're actually looking for, which is coming in, it's just not coming in with this person. You um, definitely, let me stop this music because it just, I had music on, but it stopped. So now it's talking, and we're not do we're not doing that. Okay. Yeah, I feel like once after after you do some healing, um, on what happiness means to you. After you heal, what happiness means to you? What it actually looks like, like. Sometimes you got to write it down. Sometimes you got to be clear because if you're not clear, then you can't manifest clearly. And I feel like this is saying once you do that, you'll be able to let go of the memories of the past that hurt you. Because you'll realize that you weren't truly happy until, until now. And the only reason I say until now is because until now, this is when you realize that you can manifest anything you want. I don't feel like you felt like you could do this until now. Maybe you just felt like I get the shitty end of the stick with all these losers. But no, no, no. You control that. Anyways, that's your reading. I'm going to pull a Ancient Spirit Oracle card for you. Card for Virgo. I've been dropping the last few every time I do that. No matter. not that one it's this one balance yourself direction growth life changes so there you go there you go can you see it yeah you can see it balance yourself all right it says here whoa that's a lot Look at the world around you. Pay attention to the energy of Mother Earth and the seasons, the sun and the moon. Consider how the patterns of nature affect you physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, and how they relate to the cycles. The medicine wheel supports your transition from one phase to the next. Bring your focus inward to grow. Transform, release, and embrace a new stage or aspect of yourself. Yeah, that's your messages today, Virgo. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye.